Annyeonghaseyo, I'm Jessalyn. Let's dive into what's new in DevTools in Chrome 90. Woohoo! DevTools now has dedicated CSS Flexbox debugging tools. When an HTML element on your page has displays flex or display inline flex applied to it, you can see a flex batch next to it in the elements panel. Click the batch to toggle the display of a flex overlay on the page. In the Styles pane, you can click on the new icon next to the Display Flex or Display Inline Flex to open the Flexbox Editor. The Flexbox Editor provides a quick way to edit the Flexbox properties. Try it yourself. In addition, the Layout pane has a Flexbox section displaying all the Flexbox elements on the page. You can toggle the overlay of each element. Next. You can now better visualize and measure your page performance with the new Core Web Vitals overlay. Core Web Vitals is an initiative by Google to provide unified guidance for quality signals that are essential to delivering a great user experience on the web. Go to web.dev slash vitals to learn more about it. Open the command menu, run the show rendering command, and then enable the Core Web Vitals checkbox. The overlay currently displays three metrics, largest contentful pane, LCP, measure loading performance. First input delay, FID, measures interactivity. And cumulative layout shift, CLS, measures visual stability. To dive into each of these metrics, go to the links provided in the video description. DevTools now has a new Issues Count button on the console status bar. This button replaced the Issues message in the console. Open the console, click on the Issues Count button to open the Issues tab. DevTools now displays all available Trust Tokens of the current browsing context in the new Trust Tokens pane. Trust Token is a new API to help combat fraud and distinguish bots from real humans without passive tracking. Go to web.dev slash tokens to learn more on how to get started. Open the Applications panel. In the Storage side menu, select the Trust Tokens pane. Here, you can view the stored token count of each Trust Tokens issuer. The Color Gamut Media Query lets you test the approximate range of colors that are supported by the browser and the output device. For example, if the color gamut P3 media query matches, it means that the user's device supports the display P3 color space. Open the command menu, run the show rendering command. Select an option from the emulate CSS media feature color gamut dropdown. Next, a couple of improvements on Progressive Web Apps tooling. Open the console. DevTools now displays a more detailed PWA installability warning message. It provides a link to the documentation helping you solve the issue. Go to the Application panel. Select the Manifest pane. DevTools now displays a warning message if the manifest description exceeds 324 characters. The manifest pane also shows a warning message if the screenshot of the PWA doesn't match the requirements. Learn more about the PWA screenshots property at web.dev slash add manifest. Here is a bonus tip. You can change the color palette's preview of the color picker to preview the CSS variable's color instead. Say you have defined a list of custom CSS variables. Open the color picker. By default, the color palettes show a list of page colors. Next, expand the color palette section. Here, we can change the preview to material, custom, or the CSS variables. Click on the CSS variables. The color palette now changed to display all the colors we define in the CSS variables. Try to edit the color now. The color value is updated with the CSS variable instead of the color code. Nice. All right, there are more new features in Chrome DevTools 90. As usual, go to the video description 
for the link to my blog post and others information. Thanks for watching. See you in six weeks for Chrome 91.